Hello and welcome to our channel all about home electronics. In this video we're going to quickly show you how to hook up the Nintendo Switch dock to a receiver using the HDMI and we're going to show you some setting adjustments you're going to want to make both in the Nintendo Switch, the receiver, as well as the TV. If you're not already a subscriber please hit the free subscription button at the bottom right of your video. Anytime we post new tips in the future you'll automatically get notified. We're going to start right after this. Okay, so we're taking a look at the back of the receiver and the back of the Nintendo Switch dock. We already plugged the Nintendo Switch dock power supply in. We're going to take that supplied HDMI cable and we're going to line it up with the port and put it in. You'll notice on the back of our receiver we have a total of five HDMI inputs. You might have less, you might have more. On the back of the receiver we're using, some of them are 4K. That doesn't pertain to the Nintendo Switch controller dock we're going to go into HDMI 4. Take the other end of that cable that you plugged into the back of the dock and plug it into HDMI 4. Now we need to make a second HDMI connection from the HDMI output on the back of the receiver to the back of our television. And here you'll notice the other end of that cable is connected right into the HDMI port on the back of the TV. All right, now that we made all the proper HDMI connections, we turned the equipment back around, we powered it all up. We powered up the receiver, the Nintendo Switch dock, and the TV, and we've turned the TV on. Now we need to make sure all the settings are correct, and we're going to start with the TV. We're going to use the TV remote control, the remote that came with the TV, and switch the input to HDMI 1 because that's what we plugged the receiver to uh, on the back of the TV. Now we give it a quick minute to refresh and it shows the uh, Yamaha output on the TV screen, but that's not what we want. What we want is we want to see the Nintendo Switch dock projected on the TV and you'll recall we uh, plugged that into HDMI 4 on the back of the Yamaha receiver and so using the Yamaha remote we're going to switch the Yamaha input to HDMI 4. Now if you happen to plug your uh, Nintendo Switch dock into the front auxiliary HDMI port on the front of your receiver then you would switch to that input but in the example we're going to switch the input to uh, HDMI 4. After a brief moment, the screen refreshes. Now we can see the um, Nintendo Switch image projected on the large screen. We're going to now want to take a look at some of the setting adjustments in the Nintendo Switch itself. Now I've picked up one of the controllers for the Nintendo Switch and I'm pressing the home button. I want to navigate over to settings. I want to scroll all the way down to TV settings and now once I'm over on the right I want to scroll down to TV sound and you'll see that it's been defaulted as stereo. Um, depending upon your receiver you may want to switch it to automatic or you may want to switch it to surround sound. Mono would be the least advantageous because that wouldn't even be stereo. We're going to go ahead and switch ours to surround sound. The next adjustment we will want to take a look at is that on the receiver. As you can see on the face of the receiver screen it says two channel stereo. That's only left and right stereo. We want to make it surround sound. So there's a button on the face of this one and we change it to surround decode auto. If you happen to have any questions about how to do anything else with your Nintendo Switch or the dock in relation to a receiver, post it in the comments below the video. That wraps up how to connect your dock 
to a receiver using HDMI. Check out our other videos. If this helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And otherwise, have a great day.